What's up guys? I'm Dr. Lindsay, a small animal veterinarian, and today I'm here with Lucy, a gorgeous Airedale Terrier who's gonna help us learn about this amazing dog breed. So this is a large breed dog weighing 50 to 70 pounds and standing about two feet tall. <laughs> I've been so excited to share this dog breed with you guys because they have such a historical background and they're such a versatile dog breed. They are called the king of terriers because this dog can be a working dog and a sporting dog and not many dogs can do this. Like a lot of our gorgeous purebred dogs, Airedale Terriers were developed in England by mixing Otter Hounds, Old English Black and Tan Terriers, and English Bull Terriers. Airedales were originally bred to be farm dogs and hunt otters, raccoons, ducks, large vermin, and rats along the Air River in Yorkshire, England. By the 1900s, they were considered an all-around sporting dog breed that naturally liked swimming, hunting, and protecting the farm. They are pointers, spaniels, and retrievers all in one. When the British military found out about this incredibly strong and versatile farm dog, they employed them as war dogs. So a fun fact that Lucy's owner told me is that Airedales were used as police dogs because they're large, strong, and intimidating, but they just didn't make it that long because they didn't attack enough and actually made friends with the enemy. So the police decided to leave this work to the Rottweilers, German Shepherds, and Dobermans. However, the Airedales did make a big impact for the United States military and several presidents had this dog breed. But USA's 29th president, Warren G. Harding, was so devoted to his Airedale Terrier named Laddie Boy that he was the first dog to receive regular newspaper coverage and become popular to the press. So what does an AKC show Airedale Terrier look like? So their coat is hard, dense, and wiry, lying straight and close all over the body. At the base of their hard, wiry coat is a soft undercoat. So you may experience a very slight amount of shedding, but we're gonna talk about their grooming next, which is quite interesting. Their coat color is black and tan or grizzle and tan. The sides and upper part of their body should be black or dark grizzle, with a black saddle appearance on their back. Grizzle means the blend of gray, black, and white hairs, causing the Airedale to be lighter pigment, giving them a gray coat appearance. When it comes to grooming, the Airedale Terrier needs to go to the groomer at least four times a year, where they get their hair trimmed or clipped and stripped which means the groomer will remove the dead coat, which helps to stimulate new, fresh hair growth. Exercise. Since we know this dog is an all-around athlete, be prepared to exercise your Airedale Terrier regularly with at least two hours of intense exercise. They also need mental stimulation, such as training and retrieving, to keep them happy. As for their health, the Airedale Terrier is a pretty sturdy, healthy dog, but just like other large breed dogs, they're prone to hip dysplasia and internal cancers. Hi, Lucy. You were so good today. Lucy was absolutely adorable. Thank you guys for watching this video and learning all about the king of terriers. If you guys own an Airedale Terrier and I missed something, please put that in the comments below for other people to read about this incredible dog if they're interested in getting one for their family. And like always, subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you guys back here next week.